Okay. This video that I'm going to show you is absolutely disgusting. Now, I'm not trying to knock this brother down. I think, you know, if you believe in religion, hey, so why not? He's just trying to do some good. But brother, let me tell you something. What you did, I disagree with on every level. And so do other Christians and non-believers as well. It's not about the religion aspect. It's about that what your actions did, especially at times like this in COVID, is nasty. What you're about to see, what I'm going to show you, in a video about what Pastor Mike Todd did, whew, it's disgusting. Especially during COVID. But we're not here to talk about that. This is going to be a quick, 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 quick podcast. I'll make this quick. I won't bore you. I'm going to get straight to it. But let me give you a little bit of history real quick. This is Pastor Mike Todd. Oh, from Oklahoma. Him and his wife. A, uh, I'm gonna, I'll just show you. Let's educate you real quick. Pastor Michael Todd and his wife, Natalie, are leaders of the Transformational Church in Tesla, Oklahoma. They are appointed a position in 2015 by another person and uh, the founding pastor of the church, which was, you know, Gary. The couple gained recognition in 2016 in a ceremony relationship. Uh, goals went viral online and reached millions of people across the globe. And he did something that is not too good. Now, you're probably not aware of this, but this is going viral everywhere on Twitter as we speak. Everywhere. And this is the video right here that we are going to watch. Now, I'm not going to say viewer discretion is advised because it's nothing gruesome, blood, nothing, you know, crazy out of, you know, whack. But what the point he was trying to get across, he didn't have to do it this way. And I feel bad for my brother right here. Now, although this may be a simple, quick 15-minute podcast, it still brings a point that there's certain things you shouldn't do. And if he's touching hearts of millions of people, brother, let me tell you something, Mike. And I'm going to tell you from me to you, one content created to another, this is not the way to do it. Because you impact kids, you impact the elderly, and especially you have millions of people watching you, you always have to do the correct thing. Now, nobody's perfect, but let's get straight to the... Uh, Let's get straight to the video. Um, so let's, uh, it's hard to hear you with the music. I'm sorry about that. I, I, I lowered the music down. My apologies, my apologies. Sorry about that. So let's get straight to this video that I wanted to show you guys because it's about to get a little bit, uh, it's about to get a little, uh, little gross. All right. So if you get easily upset, easily, you know, whatever, this is not for you, but the point that he was trying to make is just nasty. Changing something and you don't see it clearly yet. But you hit. <laughs> and this is where most people would not face Jesus anymore. What most people would do is turn away. What, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is just as he's physically standing here, knowing what's coming. Don't ever do this. God's saying, can you physically and spiritually and emotionally be able to stand? Guys, before I continue this video, please hit that share button. I see people are sharing. Deborah, thank you for sharing. Uh, Arlene, thank you for sharing. Hit that share button. I would appreciate that very much. Guys, please don't ever do this. Don't ever do something disgusting to make a point. He has a good heart, but he had just... he did, Don't ever do what you're about to see, okay? Uh, thank you guys for sharing the video. I see a lot of people are sharing now. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. This is disgusting. You're about to see. When getting the vision or receiving it might get nasty. I'm going to say it in a point just like that. Receiving vision from God might get nasty. You mean, God, I just bought, in crazy faith, I just bought my dream car. And now you're going to ask me to sell it back? 
and ride in the hoop day again? Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, nah, it might get nasty. No, no, oh my, no, no, oh my, it's the lick is on his lips. And do you, do you hear and see the responses of the people? What, what, what I'm telling you is how you just reacted is how the people in your life will react when God is doing what it takes no. for the miracle. What are you saying? This man was blind and what he was trying to do with this man is give him his DNA. No, no. Change. So what he was trying to say in this video was, I, I don't know, I, God's, uh, Jesus spit on a man in his eyes and then he can see. So he's trying to make a point. But in this, in this point, he's trying to, he didn't try. He spit on this brother's face. He didn't go, but he spit in his hand, rubbed it and put it on his face. Yo, he got to get checked. You don't do that, especially during COVID season. Even if it wasn't COVID, you, you, you're, you're displaying the wrong message, especially, I think he's a Christian. Brother, you don't do that. You impacted even children's lives. But to that's, you're doing so many wrongs. You're disrespecting this dude. This is disrespectful. This is disrespectful. Oh, wait. This is, look what he's doing. And this is where most people would not face Jesus anymore. He spit in his head. Yeah, but he did. You, he, Look. <laughs> Come on now. Come on and now. And this is where most people but to disrespect point, him like this? Like that, receiving vision from God might get nasty. You mean God, I just bought in crazy faith a lot I of Christians are, are going against him as well. Um, not even Christians. Now you're going to ask people. me to sell it back and ride in the hoop day again? Nah. Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you. Nah. You see what I'm saying? You don't do that, nasty. brother. You don't do this. This brother, and look at that. It's all, come on, you don't do that. Like I, can't, if, like, I can't even imagine this brother's family and what he's going through now. And you know what's so crazy? The and same guy that did this, this is what he did. Do you, I'm do show you hear and see? This is his reaction to what he did the next day. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope you're having an amazing Monday. I just want to acknowledge uh, what happened yesterday when the spit hit the fan. I watched it back and um, it was disgusting. <laughs> like that was gross. I want to validate everybody's feelings um, that that was a distraction to what I was really trying to do. I was really trying to make the word come alive and for people to see the story. But yesterday it got too live and I own that. And um, I just want to make sure people know that we want to help people. We want people to see Jesus. We want people to feel loved. We want people who are desperate to be able to find hope. And I'm passionate about that so much so that I try to do extreme things to help people get it. And yesterday it crossed the line. When Jesus uh, spit on that man, he was blind and then he could see. Um, for my brother who I love and uh, honor so much, I just called him. He was bald before I spit on him and he's still bald today. So no miracle here. And uh, yeah, this is crazy. You know, somebody in the chat said there are different there are different ways he could have done that. Who said that? Raiden. I definitely agree. If you're trying to get a point across, but during times like this, brother, and especially COVID and, 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 and you know, you don't do something. You, you know, you, you, you own a church. You, you, you're in a church, brother. You don't, you don't, you don't do something like that, you know, and you're putting a, you're displaying a, a, a wrong intentions, you know, for people who, who believe in God, who go to church and stuff like that. But to do this and then that kind of apology, like I get what you're saying, but brother, you need a sincere one because now that brother got to live with that. And you know, he was there believing in you and that not only you disrespected him, you know, that's, that's bro. That's more than disrespect. That's a grown man. And you just literally, you didn't even spit in his face. You rubbed it in your hand and displayed it on him like an art project. You don't do that, man.
you know, and this this type of apology, man, I get that. But I, from in my opinion, I don't know. I don't like I don't like this apology. I'm gonna tell you straight up. You should have been sincere, man. You should uh, you hug that brother. You know, you do something, brother, because what you did and that act of doing something absolutely so disgusting, so disgusting, like this. Nice. You don't, brother. You don't do this. You don't do that, bro. You don't rub your own. Sp I get you trying to make that point across. It's a no-go for me, man. It's a no-go. So reevaluate yourself. Make sure, yo, just be, yo, be careful who you, uh, who, who you trust these days. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to put a message across, Mike Todd, this is not the way to do it. There are other ways to do it. Why you got to do, do it on a human? Why you got to do it, do it on a dummy? Why you didn't think about that? Why you got to do it on a real human? Because you want to make your point get more across? You don't do that. You don't, you, don't, you don't go out your way to disrespect a man to validate and make it a point. That means that's a bit selfish. That means you don't care for the brother that just stood there looking foolish, taking your spit on the face. You don't do that, man. You don't do that. I think you need to do something better than an apology as well. But um, listen, I just wanted to bring you that attention. Just be mindful, be careful, especially during COVID, of who you trust, and especially, you know, Someone trying to make their point across. I wanted to share this video because this was kind of important and this video is going everywhere and this was not right. It was not cool. So um, um, just, just be careful, be mindful. Uh, thank you guys for dedicating this 12 minutes that I just wanted to make a quick, quick, quick podcast to you guys uh, real quick. But um, just know that Robin will never spit on anybody. I would never do that to you guys. Never in my life. Um, but I love you guys very much. And thank you for whoever shared this. I want to thank you very much. If you haven't, please hit that share button. Hit that like button very much. And um, as always, I will see you guys on the next podcast. Thank you so much for becoming a supporter. Two more months. I'll meet him. That was good exit. Good, good outro. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.